Hello guys, what is up? BeckBroJack here back for a, another Minecraft tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Minecraft Windows 10 Beta Edition. I'm not sure if I like it, and I'm not really sure if I hate it yet, you know, I'm just kind of just getting my surroundings right now. The only really big thing that I'm noticing right now is the uh, the taskbar down here has changed quite a bit. Uh, they do not have that, you know, weird thing on the side for tablets where it pops up and then you have that whole tablet interface. Now they just kind of compacted it when you hit on the Windows Home button and they have it all compacted right here. So yeah, that's the only big difference that I noticed. But uh, I reckon that because I downloaded Windows 10 and I saw that there was a Windows 10 Minecraft edition for free for anybody that has the PC version, I thought that, you know, I would just do a tutorial on how to download that because it is a little bit complicated you know if you don't know your bearings and you don't really know what you're doing so yeah I thought that I would show you guys how to do that but before we get into this make sure to go leave a like on this video if this is any way helpful to you and also make sure to go share it with your friends if they're having some issues but yeah anyway getting into this you're going to go to the first link in the description that you see under the links little section that I have and you're going to hit on this Mojang link which will take you to the get Minecraft Windows 10 edition beta for free now uh, they also allow you to get a free trial version if you do not already own a PC account, which is kind of neat. So you can get a free trial of Minecraft. I think that gives you like 90 minutes free. But if you already own the PC version of Minecraft, you can get the Windows 10 edition completely free without a charge. You get like a redeemed gift card. So yeah, anyway, you're going to go to this little link and hit to download your copy. First log into your Minecraft Mojang account. So just type in your email, type in your password, and then hit log in. And once you get to this page, it should show your username to your Minecraft thing and also so if you have scrolls, it'll show that on this page. But yeah, anyway, this isn't really the important thing. You're going to scroll down to where it says Windows 10 Edition Beta. Now, this will give you your unique gift code. And whatever you do, do not try to use my gift code because I've already redeemed it. As you can see, I've already claimed mine. So yeah, uh, this might be a little bit different from what you see. But yeah, after this, uh, you should be able to hit redeem right over here. And it'll take you to a brand new page where it say redeem your gift code or uh, your uh, gift card. So once you're here, uh, you should be able to hit the button redeem, but because I've already hit that, you know, just to test it out before, I can't redeem it twice. So yeah, anyway, you're just going to have your unique code in here, and then you're going to hit redeem. Now after this, you should be able to download the full version of Minecraft Windows 10 Edition. I believe that after I clicked the redeem button, it took me to the uh, official Windows 10 Minecraft page on, uh, on here, and then from there, there's a link that you can get to the Windows Store Edition of it so yeah we go to windows store or you can just totally exit out it doesn't really matter how you get to there but somehow you have to navigate to your windows store you can just literally type in windows store in your uh search the web and windows down there and then once you get up here you can just search for minecraft and it should be the first thing that pops up the windows 10 edition if it isn't then just type out you know minecraft windows 10 edition and it should pop up now once you hit it uh you should have two options right here now because obviously i've already downloaded it i don't have these two options but you should have one that says nine 99 in a US dollars or some other you know value that you have but it should be around 10 US dollars you could do conversions or stuff like that but yeah that should be the price right there and also right next to it is a box which is going to say free trial now if you don't already own Minecraft PC edition you're going to download that free trial but if you already have owned Minecraft and uh, you've already downloaded it then you can click on the money version now once you do you're just going to need to sign into your corresponding Microsoft account now I had a little bit of trouble with this you need to make sure that it's the corresponding microsoft account that is linked up with your uh with your mojang account so those two kind of have to inter collide for this whole thing to work because when i first did it i was trying to log into my personal microsoft account but that wasn't the one that uh that was actually working for me i had to use my dad's one because that was the one that was hooked up so yeah just make sure that you have your inner corresponding account set up and you shouldn't really have a problem there might be some people that do if you have a problem with this then try and leave a comment down below and i'll definitely help you out but yeah, anyway once that's done uh you're just going to type in your account after you hit on the money right here and you're just going to hit download afterwards and you should be able to open the game it's really that simple so i'm just going to wait for this to load and show you guys some differences right here uh as you can see 
uh, I have already loaded my skin, but once you get in here, you should probably just be loaded up with Steve skin and it should show your uh, Microsoft username right there. And that'll be your player name. So you can hit on play, you can load up some worlds. I have my own world right here. They, they have realms supported on here and also friends, which is kind of neat, which isn't in the regular edition. You don't have friends or a friends list. Uh, there's also achievements, which opens up your Xbox Live achievements, which I really don't need to do nor show you. And uh, the main thing that I want to show you guys is the options. Now, this is very similar to Pocket Edition, as a lot of people have said, and I definitely agree with them a lot about this. Just the whole interface seems Pocket Edition style because Microsoft uh, Windows 10 Edition isn't really recommended for play with computers because uh, on a PC, you can literally just play, you know, the regular PC version. But this is the Windows 10 Edition. It's mainly geared towards tablets or other things like that. If you have like a Windows smartphone, it's more geared towards that and, uh, you know, just kind of a replacement for the Pocket Edition. But yeah, anyway, you can just look through here. You can change the music, difficulty, all that stuff, sensitivity. Uh, you can also change render distance. I, I might be doing some stuff in the future if you want me to do like some tests on this to see like the differences between the uh, Windows 10 Edition and regular Minecraft. Make sure to just go pound the like button. Also, just leave a comment if you would like me to do that. But yeah, guys, uh, there's just one more thing that I want to show you, and that is the only bad thing that I've noticed about this so far is that there are microtransactions. I mean, some people might really like this, but I know that a lot of people are against microtransactions, which is probably why they would not want to play this game. Now, it's just for skin so far that I noticed. I don't notice anything with resource packs just yet. I haven't even tried to load a resource pack, so you know, don't take my word on that, that they will not or maybe will cost money. I don't really know. But yeah, I just know that some of the uh, skin packs do actually cost cost like 99 cents but yeah anyway that's really all that i've noticed so far about this edition of minecraft uh i've also loaded up my own custom skin right here all you have to do is just you know upload it from your files on your computer and it's just really easy to get your custom skin on here so you, you don't, really don't even have to worry about buying you know a, a skin from the skin packs anyway guys i hope that this was somewhat helpful to you if it was please feel free to go leave a like and share this with your friends if they're having issues with this and also if you had any troubles with this make sure to just go leave that them in the comment section down below and i will do my best to help each and every one of you out but anyway guys that is really it i hope you enjoyed my name is beckbro jack and i will see you guys all next time bye